Hey guys, welcome to the Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try one of these Chicago's Home Run In Pizza. This is a premium pizzeria. This one is the Uncured Pepperoni Classic Pizza. It's a microwave pizza. It is frozen. 7.75 ounces for uh, for this pizza in the box. Um, we bought these at Meyer. They're $3.49 um, for the pizza, so not, not too healthy bad. If you eat the whole thing at 680 calories, and there's other info, hopefully you can see that. If not, Tammy, I'll have a picture at the end. So, don't see anything else. You, of course, you can do these in the oven if you want. There's the oven directions. Uh, but we don't do ovens. We do microwaves, so we're going to do that. So, microwave, we've got a pull tab up from bottom edge, peel back corner, blah, blah, blah. Remove piece from the box, remove plastic wrap. Basically, you're going to make a little stand for it. Sit it on top of the stand. And let's see, place the box in the middle. Uh, microwave pizza for four and a half to 445. Wow. I mean, 415. I'll probably do 415 because these kind of pizzas usually tend to do really good in my microwave, like really fast. Um, and then they end up getting hard. So I'm going to go the lower end. Um, let's stand for 30 seconds and that's it. So 415. That's surprising because most microwave pizzas aren't that long usually. So here's the place you grab. And we're just going to basically flip top it up. You see, there's a, yeah, right there, right there, there's the pizza, and this is what the box looks like, it actually, oh, okay, hmm. that's interesting, never seen it do, oh, okay, I can go like that. So I'm going to take the plastic wrap off this pizza, put it on this uh, little silver foil thing and uh, silver paper and uh, put it in for 415 and I'll be back when it comes out. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. I want to tell you though, first of all, I put it on a paper plate to hope to keep some of the grease from running. It still ran. Um, it was bubbling. The cheese was good and melty after three minutes and like 25 seconds or so because I was watching it. I mean, it was bubbling, like bubbling, bubbling. It's still good and crispy, so that's that's a good thing. So I'm going to uh, put it on this paper plate and try to cut it, but I'm going to have to clean up my microwave a little bit first. So I'll be back once I get it um, ready to go. Okay, I gave it just a minute to cool off. Um, just to let you know, while I'm cutting this thing, the outside crust, like the outside edge of this outside part right here, very, very, very hard. I mean, like, hard. I had to take my pizza cutter and, like, chop down on it to get it to break into. I couldn't roll over it at all. Um, and even if I'm sitting here holding it, I'm trying to squeeze it and it won't even, I can't even get it to crunch or crack. I mean, it is, it's hard. So just to let you know, um, good and crunchy on the bottom. I like how the, um, the crust is almost in layers. Like, a, like a, a flaky layered crust. So I do like that. Good amount of cheese. That crust on the outside is edible, but it is very, very hard. If it was any harder, you wouldn't be able to eat it. I like the flavor of it. I like the amount of cheese you get. The pepperoni is okay. It's not very spicy, but that's just my personal preference. I like a spicier pepperoni. Um, it's it's okay. The sauce is decent. Um, the toppings are good. I do like that the crust is kind of flaky and layered. What I don't like about it is that, first of all, it got very, very hard on the outside, the, the outside crust did. I took this out a full minute before the lowest time so i mean i mean it was right at a minute less than the lowest time that they gave me so that tells me that i don't know what microwaves they're using because if you're using a low power a regular microwave um if you went over that man it would be so hard you wouldn't be able to eat it i don't know how you would even eat the thing you would have to have chisels to, to break it in pieces um so just keep that in mind if you're trying one of these don't go the full time because um, it's probably going to be way, way over what you need. Um, keep an eye on it. When that cheese starts bubbling up in the middle, take it out. 
because um, I wasn't watching, I wasn't expecting it to be early, that early, I just happened to go in there and look at it and it's like, whoa, wow, this is ready. So when that cheese starts bubbling in the middle, it's melted, take it out. Um, flavor wise, it's okay. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Um, I think it's just an okay flavor for me. It's not like spectacular, but it's not bad either. It's, it's an okay pizza. The time is really my biggest issue with this. The, the flavors are just average, but the time, they really need to work on their directions to make sure people know. Um, and it does say when the cheese melts in the middle, but when you give me a low time of 4.15 and it comes out at 3.15, that's a big deal. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.